students this is Rajeshagran from Mathwa. In this class we will learn the practical usage of trigonometry in our day to day life. Using trigonometry we are going to find the height and distance. Yes today's topic is heights and distance. For this topic we need some basic concepts of trigonometry. In case of any doubts in the basic concepts of trigonometry you please see our previous videos link is given in the description box. Before entering to the topic we should know some basics. Here we have two buildings X and Y. X is smaller and Y is bigger. You can see observer O is present at the top of the building here at this place. OA is a line. OA is a horizontal line from the observer's eye. And if the observer sees the top of the building, if the observer sees the top of the building, this angle form is the angle of elevation. This angle is angle of elevation and in case the observer looks down of the building looks down of the building this angle from the horizontal line to the down of the line, line of sight OB is the line of sight this angle is said to be angle of depression angle of depression before making the angle of elevation or angle of depression it is essential to know the horizontal line OA there should be a horizontal line then only elevation or depression can be formed first question a tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree find the height of the tower a tower stands vertically on the ground here we have a tower which vertically stands on the ground. The ground is here. From a point on the ground, which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower. This is the foot of the tower. 15 meter away from the foot of the tower. It's let it be here. Now, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower. Angle of elevation of the top of the tower. Let it be like this. Is is found to be 60 degree find the height of the tower so find the height of the tower this we should find it and it is given as and this is nothing but ground and here is the angle of elevation and this is an observer O observers I let it be here and this is the horizontal line we have it and it is they say 15 meter is the distance between the foot of the tower and the observer a tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree find the height of the tower we can name the top of the tower as A and foot of the tower as B it is given it is vertical to the ground so it is 90 degree so OBA is a right angled triangle in triangle OBA Angle OBA is equal to 90 degree. Angle BOA is equal to 60 degree. Then OB is equal to 15 meter. AB is equal to question mark. AB we should find it. In the triangle OBA you can see opposite we want to find. Opposite to the angle we should find it. Opposite to the angle 60 degree we should find out. And adjacent to that 60 degree is already it is there. So, by using opposite and adjacent means tan. Tan theta is nothing but opposite by adjacent. So, tan 60 degree is nothing but opposite to 60 degree is AB by adjacent to 60 degree is OB. That is tan 60 values root 3 that is equal to AB. AB we don't know that we need to find. AB divided by 15. OB is 15. Therefore, AB is equal to 15 root 3. 15 root 3, it is in meters. That also we should keep it in mind. So, AB is equal to 15 into root 3 value is 1.732. If you multiply 15 into 1.732, we will get 25.98 meter. The height, the height of the tower is... 25.98 meter that is the answer next question 
a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter from the ground attached to a string inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal find the length of the string they asked to find the length of the string now this is the kite and the string is a c is the string that length we want to find it then a kite is flying at a height of 60 meters from the ground so the height is mentioned as 60 meter from the ground let, let, let this horizontal distance horizontal line is a ground so cb is nothing but 60 meter then inclined angle is 60 degree so this is the angle inclined and this is 60 degree it is mentioned find the length of the string for the angle 60 degree 60 meters opposite side and we need to find the length of the string this is nothing but the hypotenuse side so opposite and hypotenuse so trigonometrical ratio related to opposite and hypotenuse sin theta so using that we are going to find out the answer in triangle ABC um, angle BAC is equal to 60 degree then it is given BC equal to 60 meter therefore using sin theta we can find sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse now sin 60 degree is equal to opposite side is it's actually BC BC divided by hypotenuse is AC sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 is equal to BC 60 by AC we should find it now AC only we need it AC is equal to 60 into root 3 by 2 if it comes that side it will become 2 by root 3 so that is equal to 2 by root 3 that is 120 by root 3 so AC is equal to 120 by root 3 we won't keep this root 3 in the denominator because it's a rational number so we should multiply by root 3 in the numerator as well as in the denominator it will come as 120 root 3 divided by root 3 into root 3 it is nothing but 3 if you cancel that it will come as 40 so 40 into root 3 that is equal to 40 into root 3 value is 1.732 1.732 if you multiply to that 69.28 therefore AC equal to 69.28 meter that is the length of the string is equal to 69.28 meter we will go with the next question a person standing on the bank of the river observes that the angle of elevation of the top of a tree standing on the opposite bank is 60 degree when he moves 50 meter away from the bank he finds that the angle of elevation to be 30 degree calculate the width of the river and height of the tree here is the diagram actually you should draw the diagram as per the question this is the river and here we have the tree c and b are the two opposite banks of the river now we will read the question once again and we can make it a person standing on the bank of the river this person is standing at the place C the person standing on the bank of the river observes that the angle of elevation of the top of the tree standing on the opposite bank is 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree and when he moves 50 meter away when he moves 50 meter away from the bank he finds that the angle of elevation to be 30 degree now calculate the width of the river and we want to find the height of the tree since we don't know the length of the river let it be x and it is given from c to d the measurement that length is 50 meter so totally from the foot of the tree to the point d the total length is 50 plus x and height of the tree let it be h so we have two triangles a b c and a b d from the Venn diagram, we can take one right angle triangle, ABC. Here, AB is H, CB is X. And uh, it is dealing with the opposite side and the adjacent side. For the angle 60 degree, opposite side is H and adjacent side is X. So, we can take tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. That is equal to tan 60. Tan 60 degree is equal to opposite to that is AB by bc tan 60 is root 3 is equal to ab is h by bc is x so h is equal to root 3 into x this is the first equation we got it 
Now we can take the another right angle triangle. It is A, B, D. From this, angle is 30 degree. Opposite side is H and adjacent side is 15 plus X. Again, we can go with the tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. So, tan here angle is 30 degree. So, tan 30 degree is equal to opposite side is AB divided by adjacent side is BD. AB by BD. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to AB is H by BD is 50 plus X. Here it is X and here it is 50. Totally BD is 50 plus X. That is what we just written here 50 plus X. Therefore, H is equal to 50 plus x by root 3. 50 plus x by root 3, we can keep it as second equation. You can see here, first equation and second equation both are same. H is equal to uh, root 3x and H is equal to 50 plus x by root 3. So, 1 is equal to 2. So, we can compare these things. Root 3 into x is equal to 50 plus x by root 3. Take that root 3 that side, root 3 into root 3, it is 3. So, 3x is equal to 50 plus x. Take that x that side, 3x minus x is equal to 50. That is 2x is equal to 50 and x is equal to 50 by 2. That is x is equal to 25 and 25 meter. So, x is nothing but the width of the river is 25 meter. And the other one thing we want to find, that is the height of the tree, that too we can find it out. X is equal to 25 meter and H is given as from 1, from 1, H is equal to root 3 into X. That is H is equal to root 3 into X is 25. That is H is equal to 1.732 into 25, 43.3 meter. 43.3 meter h is equal to therefore width of the river is equal to 25 meter and height of the tree is nothing but 43.3 meter next problem from the top of a lighthouse 150 meter high the angle of depression of two boats angle of depression means looking down the angle of depression of two boats are 60 degree and 30 degree find the distance between the boats if the boats are on opposite sides of the lighthouse. So, you can consider this is the lighthouse. We can name it as AB. AB is a lighthouse and we have like this. It is given boats are on opposite sides of the lighthouse. So, let it be like this. Since the angles are 60 degree and 30 degree, one is near to the lighthouse and the one is little far from the lighthouse. Like that we can take it. So, once again, from the top of a lighthouse 150 meter high. So the height of the lighthouse is 150 meter. Then the angle of depression of two boats are 60 degree and 30 degree. Now we are not supposed to write the angle here as 60 or 30 whatever it is. Here we should not write the angle because here if you write means it is angle of elevation. But it is written as angle of depression. Depression means the person is sitting here from this place. He is seeing the two boats. Let it be C and D. The two boats are C and D. Since the angle of depression is given, we want to draw the horizontal line from the eye level. So, the horizontal line is like this. It is very very important to draw the horizontal line. Now, the angle of depression are 60 degree and 30 degree. So, for the point A, Depression is 60 degree. Here it is 60 degree and here it is 30 degree. So, it is the horizontal line. From here, person is looking down. So, depression is looking down. So, from the horizontal line only the angle will start. So, this is 60 degree and 30 degree. And when you compare the line CD, CD and uh, if you want we can keep the name XAY. If you keep the name X, A, Y and uh, C, D, if you see, both the lines are parallel. So, what we can say, this line A, C will act as a transversal. So, by using alternate angles, these two angles are equal. These two are alternate angles, those two angles are equal. 
since this is 60 degree here also 60 degree will come the same way here 30 degree is given the line AD will act as a transversal so this angle and this angle both are same because of alternate angles are same so here it is 30 degree we need to find the distance between the two boats C and D so from the lighthouse to one boat C we can keep the distance as X and the other distance like from the lighthouse to the other boat let it be Y now we have two right angle triangle here a, B, C and A, B, D. Two right angle triangles we have. Using that we can find out the value of X and Y. By adding together we will get the distance between the two boards. First we will consider the first uh, uh, triangle. It is A, B, C. Angle is 60 degree and here it is 150 meter and this one is X. Since for this angle 60 degree opposite is there and adjacent we should find it so we must use tan so tan 60 degree or tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent that is tan 60 is equal to opposite is AB by adjacent is BC so tan 60 is root 3 is equal to AB is 150 by BC is X so X is equal to 150 by root 3 x value we got it as 150 by root 3 actually meters anyhow we are going to add so let it be as it is and next triangle we can take it is like this here a b and this is 150 meter and here this angle is 30 degree and this is y for the angle 30 degree <coughs> you can see it is opposite and here adjacent so same tan theta only we want to use it tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent and tan 30 degree is equal to opposite is AB by adjacent is DBD. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to AB 150 by BD is Y. So we need to find Y. Y is equal to 150 into root 3. So value of Y is 150 into root 3. Now we want we found X value and Y value. By adding that we will get the distance between C and D. So, x plus y is equal to 150 by root 3 plus 150 into root 3. By taking LCM, root 3 is in the denominator. So, here it will be 150 plus here by 1. So, you want to multiply it by root 3. So, 150 into root 3 into root 3 become 3. That is 150 plus here it is 450 divided by root 3 so x plus y is equal to 150 plus 450 it is 600 by root 3 we can take uh, we can rationalize it so it will become 600 root 3 by root 3 into root 3 it is 3 therefore x plus y is equal to if you cancel that 200 200 into root 3 that is equal to 200 into 1.732 so the 200 into 1.732 is 346.4 will come. Therefore, therefore, the distance between two boats is equal to 346.40 meter. Next problem. The angle of elevation of the top of the hill at the foot of the tower is 60 degree and angle of depression from the top of the tower of the foot of the hill is 30 degree. If the top, if the tower is 50 meter high, find the height of the hill. As per the question, we have tower and a hill. The angle of elevation of the top of the hill, top of the hill is here, at the foot of the tower, foot of the tower is here. Angle of elevation of the top of a hill at the foot of the tower is 60 degree. So from here a person from the foot of the tower is looking the top of the hill at an angle of 60 degree. This is the meaning of this. Angle of elevation of the top of the hill from the foot of the tower is 60 degree. This is the meaning. Next. And the angle of depression from the top of the tower. Top of the tower is here of the foot of the hill foot of the hill is here so angle of depression already i said we want to draw the horizontal line 
So let the horizontal line be like this. This is the horizontal line. Now, the angle of depression. So from here only it will come to this place. Angle of depression of the top of the tower to the foot of the hill. So from here it is connecting like this. So angle of depression it will come here. It, will, it won't come at this place. From the horizontal line how much we are looking down. That's what it will come. So this is the place. So it is 30 degree. Already we said this two lines will be parallel and this line will act as a uh, transversal. So automatically the angle will come like this as 30 degree. So now this angle is 30 degree and here it is 60 degree. We will name it as A, B, C, D and E. Now A, B is a tower, C is a hill and AD is a horizontal line and the angle CBE is 60 degree and the angle ACB is 30 degree. Let us assume the length of BC as X. From the diagram we have two right angle triangle. So here I have taken one right angle triangle ABC. Here angle is 30 degree and you can see AB is 50 meter. BC is nothing but X. So we can take opposite and adjacent is there directly by taking tan 30 degree. Tan 30 degree is equal to opposite AB by adjacent BC. Tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3 is equal to AB is 50 divided by BC is X. So X is equal to 50 root 3. X is nothing but 50 root 3 meter. Now we will take the another right angle triangle that is ECB. Another right angle triangle ECB. Now here EC is the height of the hill which we want to find it. BC we know it is X. So by, by taking tan 60 degree <coughs> equal to EC by BC. Tan 60 degrees root 3 is equal to EC as it is you can keep. BC is nothing but X. So, x is equal to ec by root 3. This is, let it be, second equation and here it is first equation. 1 and 2 both are x is equal to 50 root 3 and x is equal to ec by root 3. ec by root 3. So, 1 is equal to 2. 1 and 2 are equal. So, we can write 50 root 3 is equal to ec by root 3. By taking root 3 that side. 50 root 3 into root 3 that is equal to EC. So 50 root 3 into root 3 is nothing but 50 into root 3 into root 3 become 3. 3 equal to EC that is EC is equal to 150 meter. <coughs> Therefore the height of the hill is equal to 150 meter therefore the height of the hill is 150 meter i hope this video is very much useful for you thank you